Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading. All right, I'm gonna read them. Well, all right, so, mm -mm -mm. so it seems like you're in a situation where you don't love somebody or somebody love you, but you just been taking it. You've been taking and dealing with it. You just got out of your head about it. I feel like you came to a realization that this person doesn't love you anymore. Or you don't love this person anymore. You're just getting out of your head about it. That's not a good start. But maybe that's just for some of you. Hopefully the overall reading is going to be a lot better. So, seems like in some situations, somebody just wants you for sex because they feel like you got too much baggage or they have too much baggage, so you just want sex. So one wants sex... And one, just like, okay, I, that's all I want because you got too much baggage, okay? This is not good. All right, but my ladies from the ladies' way here, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9, 24 through 10, 1, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and sending up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. And the situations that, that happen, they're going to happen within the next two weeks, if they haven't already happened, okay? So, um, make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs, okay? All right, let's get this show on the road. So it's still saying me like somebody keep wanting stuff. Somebody is wanting stuff from you and it's starting to get annoying. Like, why do you want? All right, that got an endurance card from the uh, beginning. So um, you're dealing with something that's taking a lot of strength to do it, you know? Mm. So this may be a situation that you maybe... Um, more powerful like somebody's boss or something or just somebody look up as you as a boss and you might be trying to maintain this um appearance maybe that's what the endurance is but we'll see all right so you could be like looking you mm. okay it seems like somebody is you may be like over by somebody, like you're more powerful than somebody, but somebody keeps coming in and out of your life. I feel like somebody keeps trying to come in and out and it's telling you to keep going. Like, I'm feeling like a pass by, like let them go. Let them go situation. All right, so it seems like... um. You may be more powerful than somebody, but it seems like somebody is trying to get you to, maybe you make more money than them, but they're trying to get you to do more for them than yourself. They're trying to get you to sacrifice things that you need and you want for them. And I feel like this is a threat. They always threat to leave. I feel like they do leave, but it, like if you don't do something, they like, if you don't leave, do it, I'm going to leave, you know? Mm. Okay, so there are some secrets against you in this situation, Aries. All right, what are these secrets for the Aries? What are these secrets for the Aries? September 24th through October 1st. Aries love reading. What are these secrets? Mm. Okay, so it's basically saying here that you know what they are. You're just choosing not to see them for what they are. Let's try one more. What are these secrets for the Aries? October 20, I mean, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Love reading. Okay, so it's this secret is going on. And I feel like you know about them, but you're trying not to see them for what it is. And maybe dealing with you, maybe you're somebody's boss or somebody's your boss or whatever. But it's like there are secrets going on. You know what they are. Shit. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Maybe you're the secret. Or they are. Alright, so right now you're just trying to find some self-healing in yourself. Um, 
Yeah, you're just trying to heal from this negative situation over here. You feel like there are secrets involved. They are, but you're trying to act like you don't see them for what they are. They've been going on for a long time, for at least three to six months. So, But I'm feeling like you may be the secret. I don't know what that means, but yeah, maybe you do. All right. So there's some manipulation going on, Aries, and this may be you because it's upright, you know? Mm. I feel like you're trying to manipulate this person because you're becoming vulnerable. I feel like you may be getting ready to push somebody away. I, that's just what I'm feeling here. Because I'm, I'm feeling like resistance. You don't feel like you should feel anyway. So this tie can be somebody coming in and out of your life. But it can also be you having feelings coming on and off about somebody. Okay. Alright, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw the magician and I heard I got everything I need. I don't need anybody. Okay. All right. What's going on for the Aries? For the Aries, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Love reading Aries, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Love reading. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm. Yeah, there's some love offers coming in for you. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Mm, somebody's trying to be rebuild after a tower moment. Mm. Okay. So it seems like somebody might be secretly trying to rebuild a relationship. Um... And they may be doing it by taking a trip. Mm, okay. You guys are going to have to let me know what's going on here, okay? Ooh. Okay, so there is no love in this uh, situation. There's no love in this relationship. And I'm feeling like that's the, the secret. This is so weird. Um... Yeah, it seemed like this. You try to. I gotta clarify this moon. What is this moon about? What is this moon about for the Aries? September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Mm. Okay, there's no love, but there's a lot of money. Okay. And it seemed like you guys are. I just feel like this is some kind of power couple. There's no love here. It seems like you guys are maybe getting together for monetary reasons, you know? I feel like somebody may end up getting ready to move. Maybe you guys are going to move together for monetary reasons, but there's no love here. I just think it's for, it's for money, so somebody can come out of a time of being strapped for cash, okay? But I'm going to read these out the book to ensure you get your full message. So we're going to start with this moon card. Moon, moon, moon. Where's the moon? All right. So maybe somebody's trying to be with you because they feel like they'll get it'll get them out of a time of uh, being strapped for cash. But this could be both way around, but both ways around. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Uh, we have the tower reversed. All right, it says evilness and a strong force. Okay, so it may seem like somebody is definitely just using the situation to get ahead. Okay, and I mean, this could be either party. It could be both parties in this situation, you know. It, I feel like the overall theme is about money, not love. You know, you saw the lovers reverse and you see the money is upright. You know, I feel like the happiness in this home is about money. It's not about love. And that is crazy. All right. So we got the Knight of Staffs. I mean, I guess it's just crazy for me because I love love. <laughs> All right. So um, we have the Knight of Staffs and it's upright. You may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now is a good time to change where you live. 
if you want to leave a situation, leave now. So it's basically like leave before it get too crazy. But let me go back up here. Sorry, I should have read this with the moon. All right. Let me see. What is that? Five of coins reversed. And that says... Disorganization, clouded vision, division, indecision. Okay. So it seems like somebody is indecisive on doing this situation. They know that it's evil what they're doing. You know, they know that it's bad. And it's going to come out sooner or later that it's just for money. So somebody is still. If they want to move in with this person for money or for, um, or not, you know, that's all I got for that. All right, so we got the Ten of Coins. All right, so it says, A time to be secure in your home, all of you, in all of your surroundings, a time of financial and economic stability, and a time when happiness surrounds the home. Remember your family. So this makes me feel like, I mean, somebody, you guys are just happy about money. I feel like you to, to forget this uh, situation. I don't feel like it's any cheating or anything going on here. But I feel like both of you guys' is happiness is in money. You know? But that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon rising signs if you want a personal reading check in the description box below email me we can set something up other than that have a wonderful week